Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for to make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Arab millionaire disguises himself as a driver to find out if his wife loved him. What he discovered will make you cry. Samir was a wealthy oil heir who had gone into the family business. When he was already 40 years old, he decided to give himself a chance and fell madly in love with Zaira, a girl 15 years his junior, whom he married. However, his driver assures him that the young woman is cheating on him. Fed up with all those intrigues, the millionaire took the place of his driver, disguising himself as this one so that he could spy on his wife and what he discovered was even worse than he imagined. Samir was a very nice man physically and of noble feelings. He grew up in Dubai, surrounded by luxuries and comforts. However, he decided to emigrate to the United States to study finance at a prestigious university. His parents engaged him to his cousin Caleb when they were barely five years old. Therefore, when he decided to travel to study, they reminded him of that commitment he had. His cousin was very nice, but Samir did not love her, and he told her parents that he respected all the norms of her culture, but that he did not believe in loveless marriage. After countless conversations, they managed to convince him that he should keep his word. Samir told them that he had her for word of honor, that he would fulfill her commitment, but he even graduated from college. His cousin did not agree with that marriage either, since both were young people with very different ideals from the traditional culture. However, they knew that defying those rules could end badly. Between them, a beautiful friendship arose that they cultivated even in the distance. And when Samir was a year away from graduating, she told him that it was time to start planning the wedding. She replied that she would share all the preparations with him, although she was not sure what steps she was going to take. However, her fate had prepared another path for that arranged couple, as the young woman asked him to take her to the United States before getting married. Samir agreed because the idea was that they were going to live in that country when they were already married. The bride traveled with her mother, but they never reached their destination as the plane crashed in the ocean and there were no survivors. Samir was shocked because his cousin was his best friend, and what had happened hurt his soul. After that, he did not feel like going back to his country and told his parents that he would stay to work in America. Years passed, and when his father fell ill, he called him to ask him to take over the family oil business, to which he could not refuse, since he was the only child and he knew how much the estate meant to his family. Samir was in his early 40s when he moved to his beloved Dubai to support his mother in caring for his father. When the Lord passed away, obviously, he was the universal heir and took care of all the family affairs. One afternoon, while leaving a meeting, he bumped into Sarah, a graceful and humble woman who worked as a receptionist at the hotel where he had had his work appointment. Samir was mesmerized by the beauty of that girl, to the point that the next day he returned to greet her and later invited her to lunch. Knowing who she was, she refused to accompany him, but he told her that social classes were an invention of people whose minds were too crooked to believe themselves different from others. With her arguments, he managed to convince her of it. After the meal, they often looked at each other until they struck up a courtship. Sarah did not hide from him that she was of humble origin, but he did not care about that, and six months later they were married. Samir's mother was not happy because she did not know anything about the girl. In their social circle, they constantly commented that Sarah had won the lottery by marrying the millionaire man who was 15 years older than her. Furthermore, they all agreed that she had accepted it out of interest. Samir trusted his wife, in whom he saw a good and honest woman. However, his mother was always telling him that he had the wrong person, and the situation worsened when his faithful driver told him that he suspected that his wife was cheating on him, because every day she asked him to take her to a place far from the city where she entered a house and took hours to get out. Samir did not believe that his wife was capable of deceiving him, but what he did was against the norm, since the woman must give an account to her husband for everything she does about her, and she had never told him about it.
So Samir hired a character designer who worked in the film industry and in her country and asked him to do her makeup and make him look like her driver. After four hours of makeup, the man was all ready and showed up at his house as if he were the worker. Zara wanted to take advantage of the fact that her husband was away to leave early, so she called the driver and told him that they would go to the same place as always. He boarded the vehicle and took her to the point that her worker had indicated previously. She got out and started walking down a narrow alley where she couldn't reach the car. Samir didn't know what to do, but after an hour of thinking things over, he got out of the car and went to the shack that his wife had entered. When he opened the door, the world fell on him, as she was able to contemplate how his wife fed a humble man who was in bed. Zara screamed when she felt discovered by what she believed to be the driver, and she told him that this man was her father, of whom she had not spoken to her husband about because the same old man asked her because he felt that a sick man could become an obstacle to the happiness of his daughter, but she promised him that she would never leave him. At that moment, the old man told him that her priority was the happiness of his daughter and that he was happy because he knew that she had fallen in love with a good and noble man, but that he wanted to stay out of them. Ma'am, are you in love with the sir? asked the driver. I love the Lord with all the strength of my soul, although his mother and many think that I am with him for his money. The truth is that Samir is a wonderful man who does not need to be rich to be loved, that is why I am happy, because I found out that I'm pregnant and I can't find the time for me to come back from the trip to tell him, Sarah replied. At that moment, Samir began to remove his makeup and apologized to his wife for being carried away by doubts. Likewise, he told his father-in-law that nothing would make him happier than having him under his roof. They collected all the things of the father and took him to live in the mansion where he spent the last days happy while the couple enjoyed his five children. This may not be for everyone, but here are some non-negotiables for me that have led to a pretty great partnership. Some of you may have noticed that I didn't include faith as a bullet item, but I believe we sometimes spend more time seeking for superficial theological signals than we do for indicators of character and integrity. Yes, he must believe in God, but the quality of his faith is more likely to be determined by how he treats you and others than by the church he attends. So, take a look at these 10 ideas for finding a decent guy and tell us if you agree or disagree with them. Please read this twice, ladies. No matter how hard you try, you can't turn a bad boy into a good kid. You should slap yourself and read this essay every time you tell yourself that untruth. No, but seriously give up. Please, no, it's crucial to your happiness. Have you ever glanced up and thought to yourself, what am I doing here? I should have, would have, or possibly could have. It has to do with a guy, a horrible guy. I bet my 401k on it. When you get your way, it's easy to be with a good guy. But the ultimate test comes when you have the legal right to get there. A man will eventually treat you the same way he treats the others around him. You don't want a man who is only polite to you or who treats differently than other women. You'll be on the receiving end of this personality as soon as you say no. Simple things to notice include how to react to an aggressive stranger and how he interacts with a family member with whom he has a strained relationship. When he disagrees with you, how does his personality hold up? This is the most accurate sign of selfishness. Is he just helping people because they need it or is he looking for IOUs? Does he want you to reciprocate when he makes a good gesture for you? He should be motivated only by a desire to make you happy. Many guys try to make women feel fortunate to be with them, but it should absolutely be the other way around. I know some men might disagree with that, but it's true. Respect me, and I'll respect you. No one's wants are unfulfilled when two excellent people join together. You both reciprocate equally. Telling you how attractive, brilliant, and strong you are doesn't take away from his manhood. It's what he admires about you. Dear friends, this is where our story ends today. We hope, as it has always been, to your liking. If you liked it, give us a like, leave us your valuable comments so that we can all read it, share in your social networks, and if you haven't done so yet, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so that you're always notified when we have a new video. And in this way, you don't miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us for the next one. Thanks for watching. 
please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.